I don't use a pen or a pad, um, so I figured out that trick of how to use both sides of my brain at one time, and somehow or another, uh, the music get done that way. Girls love it when you talk to them. Take a page out of my book. Happy wife, happy life. You been in your own practice, nah, man. Nah, you ain't nah, just nah, do nah. that for the first yo, listen, time. I, listen, listen, you listen, listen, man. You tried to come snug on me, man. You been... Listen, yo. yo, come here. Come yeah. here, yo. Yeah. boxing matches inside of strip clubs, and they had me hosting the boxing match inside of one of these clubs, and I am a hustler. H-U-S-L, hustle. <laughs> I need the next two fighters to the ring. Damn it, Avalon, bring your ass over to the stage. I didn't know whether I had walked into a strip club or a boxing ring. You can't get your bills paid if you ain't got no money in your pocket. And the lifestyle that I provide for me and my family takes a lot of hustling, and I go hard. Don't you like money? For my girl from the Bronx, we call her Project Pack. Give it up, give it up, give it up! You having fun, right? That's called hating. Hating on my occupation. If the money is the right amount, uh, I do believe I will be going to do my job. But, you know, sometimes things catch her off guard, and this was one of the times she felt that she wasn't fully informed. She's here doing everything she needed to do, and you're kind of f***ing up, so. If she was to get up and leave your stupid ass, you couldn't fault her for none of it. anybody else taking that position. And if Chrissy goes into that slot where I know they're going, Nancy's finna be upset. <laughs> I would like to start by saying thank you for coming out. It's good to see you guys. You all know me very well. We all know that I've tried several different ventures in my life. I tried the real estate, interior design, personal styling, never quite fit. It's taken me a long time to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with my life. And I figured it out. I want to spend it with you. shaking and then as the words started to flow out it's like I tuned out like I just let what I came for take over I don't know what's going on in Nancy's head but that woman is really tight right now I don't need no surprise. My son, yes, I can understand him getting a surprise. I could have been more coming up towards the front just to get my son's expression and camera and had everything ready. I don't know what's going on. All I know is, oh, no. I, I just can't believe I'm just excluded out.
they're not waiting for the guys anymore. They know they know we'll take forever, so they taking matters into their own hands. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. I thought long and hard. Yeah. You thought long and hard. Yes. I can't see myself with anybody else. I'm with you. But he didn't quite say yes. He was like, I'm with you. What the f is I'm with you? What does that mean? space with this aggression? You having a good time down here? Yeah, I was until you rolled up on me like we got beef. You love Miami, right? I do love Miami. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I don't even know you're here in town. You roll up on me and tap me like I owe you money. Like, what's the matter? Hmm. You always think something funny, right? I don't know what your problem is. You're not telling me. You better stop yelling at me. I'm no, I'm not going to stop yelling at you, you because stop. you came down here like and you're not telling me what's wrong with you. I'm gonna show you how crazy I am. Well, what you got for me? Some information in your pocket? Like, what are you digging for? I got that information for you. <sighs> so you wanna marry me? So Cameron Giles is an artist that's on the Diplomat brand as well with Jimmy. He's also in the process of a new label deal, and I want in on that. So I gotta try to finagle something. What's going on? You know, just trying to figure out what's going on with the camp, and I wanted to hear what you got going on. I, I, I've been hearing. We just got finished um, shooting the movie Percentage. Mm. It was shot Kim and Queen Latifah. They really want me in on the movie side. You know, of I heard all about it. The yeah. blogs have been going crazy about it. That's what's up. Maybe it took uh, break symbols here and there, but I'm trying to make sure I keep it going on. You know things have been super crazy on my side of town. No, I've been out of town the last six weeks, so I only hear what's going on. I hear the this, hear that. Right. And it, it makes me upset, man. It, it really makes me sad, man. I don't know if you heard, but I, I quit. I walked away because this is it's crazy. It, like, the things that's going on is just crazy. I don't even want to get into it, but it's crazy. It's like when me and Jim wasn't speaking. It's like, you know, People say this, say that, whatever, but at the end of the day, I knew eventually we speak. I knew we come back around or yeah. whatever. Yeah, and you know, deep down inside, said. that's how I feel. Yeah, it'll be all right. Okay, now about business, more, most importantly, you know that's what I care about most. Mm -hmm. I want to be down. Tell me, I need in. Um, to be totally honest, too, I would have loved to work with you for years, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But even though you're not working with Jim, I still want to run it past him. I just follow an old school protocol, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For me, to just jump in the business and be like, I oh, understand. Dude, yeah. It's too close, and, you know? Yeah. It's and just I, too and, close, and, and I, I would get love, it. And you, yo, you're dope. You're Thank stupid you. dope. Do I miss Jim? Absolutely. Do I miss, you know, 
seeing breakthroughs in his life and seeing his success and and being there to share those experiences with with him? Absolutely. But do I feel like I can share those experiences with someone else? Absolutely. It's a bunch of stuff that I got going on that I would definitely need your help, but I'm just cuffing that cloth where it's like, yo, let me check on something. No, see what's I going already on. know. I knew. I know. Yeah. I love you, and we can do it. I'm going to call you next week and let you know definitely. Okay, cool. I'm lobbying for the position to help. So, nah, wait, after you post the gym, can you do it please today, sir. tonight, so we can get to business tomorrow? Yeah. I've been jealous for a long time that I haven't been working. You should have just called. You didn't have to be jealous, crazy. I wish I knew. Killer, killer. Well, what up, man? What's happening? How you doing? You all right? What's going on? Since my sentencing day was postponed, you know, I've been on the grind to make sure my family's straight and they don't need for nothing. What's up, man? What you, what you working on in here, man? Just working on some new stuff. That's about it. What's going on with the case, though? I don't know. They keep pushing it back. You know, it's time to just get focused and more time to work and spend with the family. And stuff just, you know, just stay hustling and stay grinding and getting the kids, you know, making sure they, they, their future's good, you know, but, well, no matter where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So now I, I got up. a sneaker line I'm about to drop. That's what's up. Just trying to put every put all the balls to the side and just focus in. You know, every day is a blessing. That's right. One of the ventures I have working is a sneaker line. And I might need Cam to be rocking my sneakers. You know, he's a trendsetter. But we're going to have that conversation another time because right now I'm going to talk about some other things. Play some joints. I got a beat. I ain't really putting nothing to it. I just was listening to the beat, but uh. I think I'm gonna mess with this beat. I like this beat. My man Rec did it. It's kind of tough. Never that, never that. What you mumbling over there? You know, when I was in jail, you know, I, I, I just be... When you was in jail, what? Yeah, you know, you in there, you bored. You know what I'm saying? So you just be exercising your brain, be just coming up with... Uh... Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You really tell me saying you wrote rhymes? I mean, I got a 16. Like, I got a 16. Kid. I ain't gonna front everybody got a 16. Everybody, everybody yeah, everybody I mean, got who don't a got a 16? Go, go in the booth. Let me see what you got. Go in the booth. It's light. It's light, though. Don't, don't laugh, man, because don't discourage me, man. Don't laugh. It's... I'm not a rapper or anything like that. That's not my forte. Getting in the booth was never my idea. But, uh, you know, hey, if Cameron think I got it, why not give it a shot? All right, gotta go. All right. Uh, uh. Uh. Me and you, we can't get along, tattletale. Tell me who the hell I'm snitching on. Never that, never that. I never been around. I'm out on bail. 650, that'll be exact. Salute him. Salute him. You should tell me bravo if you knew what I did before I'm in this bottle street. You might see me on a TV show, Us Now. Do you win? I've been a CEO. Hey. We get busy. We get busy. Right. You fun. You been their own practice. Nah, man. nah, you nah. Just nah. do that for the first time. Yo, listen, time. I, listen, listen. You listen, trying to man. come listen, snug on me, yo. man. You been. Listen, yo. yo, come here. Come yeah. here, yo. Yo. You said spit that it was, like I was talking nah, to somebody, man. That was man. tough, B. Thanks. I love Cam. We've been together for close to a decade and we are engaged. Cam is the founder of Dipset. Cam has put his mark on this hip hop game, but when we're together, he's just my boo. You look at Icy today, man. You feel this? Yeah. I need that watch. So you should let me hold something. Oh, you should let me hold something. <laughs> All right, look, I got money in both pockets. You got whichever's in one pocket. You do right or left. I'm gonna go with the uh, right. What? <laughs> what? pesos? You wanna see what you would have got? Yes. <laughs> I changed pockets. You blew it. Cam's a jokester, but that's one of the things that I love about him. We have a lot of great memories about going on tour with Dipset, but as I've gotten older, I've realized my priorities are a little bit different. We were engaged a few years ago, and I'm ready to have a little juju. You going on tour, and you gonna be away all the time. How are we gonna work on this baby? Do I have to be flying to where you at? Cause you know how safe you do that anyway. 
when you like, pop up. Because I be missing you, baby. That ain't really it. You're really checking on to see what's going on. I get there and they be like, Juju's here and I haven't even arrived to the venue yet. <laughs> I gotta make sure everything is cool Excuse and you're safe. <laughs> and I'm safe. That's your favorite, that I'm safe. Yes. Thank you. Seriously, you know I've been in a relationship for over a decade. I've <laughs> known you over a decade. It's... No, wait, 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 wait. We've known each other since 2002. And how long have we been together? Since 08 straight. Don't no. do that. S since what date, Cameron? Last year. Last year? Last year. That's a lie. Maybe 014. Maybe. We've been together since 2008. Shortly after you came to Florida, then we moved together. We got a place. We just had a place together. That don't mean we was exclusive. We well, I was exclusive. You wasn't exclusive? Of course, I was exclusive. <laughs> what I'm gonna say, I was exclusive. <laughs> of course, I was exclusive. Okay, you're not gonna dig it. Cam played too many games. He know we've been together for nine years, and he knows I've been serious about him from the first day I met him. Although I know my man shows me the utmost respect, he knows I will pop up on that ass because I am the pop up queen. Despite the reputation that these rappers out here have, Cam has shown me time and time again that I'm all he needs and I'm ready to start my family. Career wise, I'm good. You know, I'm happy how everything is going in our lives right now, but I'm ready to have a baby. Okay. I'm down. But I don't want to be like, yo, meet me at 2.30 on a Friday, so. By the sunset. Yeah, like it's mad. Force. Yeah, just let it rock. Just, just yeah, go with the flow. Rock out. So we can start tonight. Let's we can go. start now. <laughs> <laughs> This new wave classic is always exciting. It's something we do every year, a little give back annual basketball tournament. We just want to show the kids it's stuff out here for them to do, because they don't really have too much out here. What else? Juice what's Key, what's good, yeah, bro? What's you, my guy? What you good. Too, man? I'm hyped my man Juice Key came to support. I knew Juice Key for a while. You know, we in the same industry. So he come check me every now and then. We just chop it up and kick it. We kind of do this every year. I would have had you DJ, but you know, the police don't even let the music go down no more. Going down to Joel Santana's basketball event not only gives me a chance to give back to the community, but to pick his brain about Sky. I asked Sky to move in with me, and she agreed. I already knew she had trust issues before, but now we're living together, it's a lot worse. What's good, though? What you been up to, man? Working, radio, clubs, and, you know. I'm really trying to be with Sky. Like, I see a future with her. She's moved in, right? Yeah. This is something like some trust I don't know. Like, she running through my messages and all that, and I know it. So what I did is I put the laptop in the living room with the camera on. I don't think I want to know how this story ends, man. You know how it ends. I'm going to shower, and of course, she fell for the trap. I got oh, the phone man. in the kitchen. She don't go through the phone, going through the voicemails, checking messages. I know it sounds a little sneaky, but I wanted to see how far Sky would go with all her snooping around. So I set up a little spy cam, left my phone out in the open, and waited for the mouse to fall in the trap. I'm going to show you. She's going to pull up on the phone. Expect the juice <laughs> So she going through the joint. She start going through the voicemail. You see her putting her phone to the air. Like, oh, she wow. Yeah, look. She there for like 10 minutes, and she's going to put it back like nothing happened. I want her to look at it and be like, yo, I look, you know, I look mean. I look corny. I need you to set something up like this for me <laughs> sometime, man. Can Bella do that, any of that? All that, boy. All that. Going through my phone. When I'm sleeping, right. wake up, my phone's not next to me. I've been through it all. I mean, we had our ups and downs, spin arounds, mm. all types of, you know, things. Like, I mean, but at the end of the day, you know, it's about just communication. I mean, sit down with yours, find out what she want from you. I don't know, instead of playing FBI, Inspector Drewski, maybe he just need to sit down and talk to his girl and really find out what's bothering her. Talk to her. Girls love it when you talk to them. Take a page out of my book. Happy wife, happy life. Flea, what up? Kill her. Oh, what's, what's up? What's good? Oh, shit, man. It's just the time. The game's about to start. Yeah, I see Jaw out there. What's going on? Everything good. You made a wild boy right here. I, that's why I came to L's, because I know y'all really got real relationships. And I kind of look up to that, you know, being in the position y'all in. Like, how, I don't know even know how you make you know, it work. You know, Drew been around since the first diplomat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, he had a friendship before they yeah, even exactly. had a relationship. You know what I'm saying? I always admire that about them. You gotta keep it spontaneous. Like, we have a lot of fun, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to this game, man. Right, Listen to that action. Appreciate it. All right, Drewski, boy. Uh, you know what it is.
Tonight's going to be a hell of a night in Harlem. We got Dipset, Harlem Zone, live at the legendary Apollo Theater. All of us together, sold out show. My whole family in the building. No matter what the future holds for me and my family, there's only one woman out there I want to spend forever with. And she about to find out right here, right now. Hold on, look at on a bitch hand, the right hand, which was the wrong hand. <laughs> but everything can't be perfect. Rhythm take you tonight. Gonna work it out under all the lights. Get on the floor and Having my kids here go, right by my side girl, to see me propose to their mother is one of the best feelings in the world. Kim is the love of my life on and the, the only woman I'm creasing the butters for. Go, and together, girl. I know we'll get through anything. Before we get things moving, I want to talk to the people who are here. Now, Kimbella and Joelle, congratulations, you guys are married you. now. <laughs> There's a glow about you, I want to say. You look beautiful. <laughs> Is it just a bling? I mean, it, amongst other things. Oh, come on, girl, come on. Give it to us. <laughs> she decided to stop taking birth control. No. And you know me, I'm, my joints is ready to go. You know what I mean? Congratulations. Thank you. All positive vibes for you guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Podcast is number one in the country right now. We've had guests from the likes of Pusha T, Nicki Minaj, Chance the Rapper. I'm trying to get Jim Jones on the podcast. So when he invited me to a cooking class, it was the last place I thought he would want to meet. But I'm intrigued. Now you just gonna cut? There we go, you got it. All right. Oh, oh, Bro. How you doing, Chef? You came in right at the right time. Oh, let me get to it then. All right, so we're just gonna take us a little leaf here. That's called a wonton skin. Y'all seen that before. We're gonna brush this with some eggs, right? So all we're gonna do is just gonna take a little bit and put it right in the middle. So while I'm having a blast here learning how to make wonton money bags, <laughs> what are we doing here as a meat spot? I've been with Chrissy for going on 16 years, and I've never actually cooked a, a meal in the house. So I figured I'd do some cooking classes and at the same time, hang out with you. That's a good plan. Not a lot of people that understand what being in a relationship is. I don't know if I'm one of those people either. But you've been there. But I'm working on it. A few times. Yes. Yeah. I know your buds for years in the industry. I've been in this game for so long, so. Just natural colleagues passing by one another in different events and different playing fields of this industry. I think that's dope how he's able to transition from being an artist into being a... Uh, I ain't got the word for it. But Joe is smart. When I see him, I'm asking what word I will put there. He got a T.I. vocabulary. He's is crazy. I'm gonna drop these in the oil. We're gonna let these money bags fry. And y'all cut up these vegetables for me. I'll be right back. Now that I'm sitting here doing this with you, I don't think I've ever cooked for a woman either, though. Yeah, this is a good thing to try to learn if I could get it right. So as you've been in it for so long, you gotta find different ways to keep to keep the spice. Yes, to keep this moving. Well, how's it going? So, you know, Chrissy moved to Miami to get a little bit of fresh air from me, and she stayed in Miami for, like, the past uh, two going on three years. How has the transition been? Or did she just pop right back in like y'all never missed a beat? It ain't like we never missed a beat, because I'm a little bit rough around the edges. I'm trying not to show that side. I'm trying to show a little bit of a difference. But then since she's been back, you know, I've still been working in L.A., so I've been back and forth constantly. I guess to her, it feels like I'm... It's abandonment. 
as men, we'll minimalize it and say, I'm on the road, I'm getting it, I'm working, you know what time it is. For the woman, it be abandonment. I see what you're saying. Recently, I've been taking trips back and forth to the West Coast because of my weed business. You know, Chrissy might complain a little bit that I've been on the road a lot lately, so I'm gonna tighten up. I'm gonna give her something else to complain about. Relationships is hard, bro, but when you love a person that much, you'll figure it out. Me and Chrissy do have an ill relationship, but I mean, we all have our ups and downs. That's natural. No one's perfect. I think she forget that I know how to finesse her panties off, so I think that um, I need to get this thing back on board. Smelling like date night or something. But what's up with you, bro? What, what you gonna do, man? You inspired me on the, on the low. Because I've been trying to talk some of this stuff to my, bro, my son's you gotta, mom. You got a mean circle. By mistake. This is like you standing in the middle. Everywhere you turn is the same circle. Only two people matter in this equation, which is my child and my child's mom. Anything else is noise. I know it would be frustrated sometimes, but if you love a person, you're going to figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why we're here. We're cooking. <laughs> we know what we're trying to Cookies. do. But yeah. Take it to the next and level. And don't look too bad. I know what's next. Jim got some coming. Yeah, bro, I got some. Jim got some. I got some. We was in the studio the other day, man. It's fact. And that's why it's just fascinating to continue to watch your musical growth. When you come to the podcast, we gotta talk about it. Oh, let's do it. Whatever you're ready. Yeah, definitely pull up. We might get you some weather from the podcast too. Whatever the weather is that day. <laughs> have, some, have some fun. 100%. She wants to schedule to come home this summer, and this project is way past due. So I have to make sure this record and this project is a success. I want to make him proud, but even more than that, I have a family to support. Hi. Hey. Hello, everyone. Oh, Good to see everybody. Hi, Jim. Good to see everything's good. Good. Making music a lot. Thank you so much, Jim. You know, he's super excited about this record. The record is called Celebration, and Final Stages is, of course, your verse. I'm just excited to have you on the track, and he's excited. Let's go. We got the project coming up with Lil Wayne. He got two, three songs that I want to pass you off for that. So you're planning on putting out like a few projects before he actually come home, or maybe, just... maybe yes. two. Yes. I love Joel's, you dig? But he's a music holder. Yes. <laughs> he's so stubborn and he's so much of his own critic. This is why he holds the music so tight. A million people can tell him this is crazy, which 99% of the records he play you be. You heard? I can't wait to hear your verse. I know you're recording yeah, it now, right? Let's get back right? to the oh. Yo, the booth is on. Sometimes I come in the studio, I got a lot of energy. Words and phrases and politics, everything is running through my head. Shout out the lot, you smell a little rubber from the Porsche tires, um, even going the court back and forth for prize. I don't use a pen or a pad, um, so I figured out that trick of how to use both sides of my brain at one time. And somehow or another, uh, the music get done that way. Uh, let me hit the beat. You gotta watch them higher ups, they try to trick you out position. Facts. I'm going to court back and forth for prize. I didn't bond with jewelers, I even sat with the raw supplies. I'm talking uh, so many things that we've accomplished. I'm even a robber reason when you've been my accomplice. Yeah. We've been carrying sticks with shoulder stacks by the armpit. I'll be fresh to death, I see angels in my palm trip. Whoa. So it's such a nice feeling to see all of us, me, Chrissy, Jim, Twin, all in the same room together, ultimately to support Jewels while he's away. Some people might find it crazy that we have been able to put our differences aside, but guess what? We're all dipset. We're family, and that's how it's supposed to be. Chilly with it. Well, I'm illy with it. Pop a Harlem blast, pop smack nilly with it. All right, let me hear that. Is that a combo? Yeah, that's a combo. If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's Love and Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.